If you are not used to a fully analog synth like the Mini Moog, you will be frustrated with the lack of presets and even just the ability to initialize the patch to default. Unfortunately, there is no way around this. So I'm going to initialize the synth and you should do the same for every one of these examples if you are following along. Okay, starting over here, set the tuning to zero, glide all the way down, modulation I leave to the hard left, set to oscillator three, turn off this modulation, leave oscillator three control on, set the range for all three to 16 feet, set the waveform to sawtooth, ramp up sawtooth for oscillator three, volume down, and all switches off, except for oscillator one. External and noise down as well too, Set the noise to white. Turn off all these switches. Open up the cutoff. Emphasis all the way down. Contour down. No attack, no decay. Sustain full for the filter envelope and same for the amp envelope. Okay, so now we just have a single sawtooth oscillator unfiltered. So now let's create a classic fat analog bass sound. This is one thing the Mini Moog is very famous for. So let's see how to make one. I'll bring down oscillator 1 to 32 feet, so it's lower. Let's bring in that second oscillator. Turn it on. Set that also to 32 feet. Try to get it as close to the same pitch as possible. Now the third oscillator, I'll set to the last pulse shape, so we get a thin pulse. Set that at 32 feet as well. If we were to hear the first and third oscillator alone, it would sound like this. Turn it on first. So that's adding some buzz to the sound. Also, it's ever so slightly detuned. But the wave shape being that thin pulse is really changing up the overall timbre. Okay, let's bring back oscillator 2. So we have 1 at 4, 2nd at 8, and 3rd at about 5. Let's add some noise to this. Turn it on and bring up the level. We don't want blatant noise in the sound, just enough to fill it up so it's a bit thicker. Let's compare with it off and back on. Pink is more subtle, but I'm going to go for white so we hear the noise in the higher notes a bit better. Now we can also introduce some feedback with the external dial, since I don't have anything plugged in to the external input. So turn that on and bring it up. At about three sounds good. Rounds out the sound a bit. Keep in mind my main volume is all the way up, so the feedback is more prominent. Okay, next is a filter. I'll bring the cutoff down to negative three. So it's very sine wave like because of this heavy filtering. Let's add some emphasis at about two. Now the main thing that's gonna add some attack to the sound is the contour amount. Let's crank that up to five. For the envelope, we need a very quick attack. DK longer at about 200 milliseconds. And the sustain down to five. Now it's not as dull as before, has a very clear attack, but yet has that milky low end. So easy to make things sound good on this synth. Okay, moving on for the amp envelope, I leave the attack at the lowest, a longer DK, let's say 600 milliseconds, and sustain down to approximately eight. If you want to hear more snap in the attack, just increase the contour amount. So more high end gets introduced.
But I like it darker, so I'm going to tone that down. You can add a bit more emphasis, but you will notice it gets slightly thinner. I think I leave it at two. So there you go, fatness unlocked with the Minimoog Model D reissue. Stay tuned for more sound design.